so hi guys welcome back to my channel nobody pray for me it been a day for me yeah yeah hey i remember syrup sandwiches and crumb allowances but that's a nigga with some counterfeits but now i'm counting this so as i was saying today i will be doing this tie and die with you guys so i'm going to show you an old shirt that i did from last year oh it look i designed it and i tie and dyed it and everything so now we're going to get into the video and show you how to get it done as you can see i'm showing you guys the the dyes that i'm about to use they're powdered now and i'm going to add water to them you're going to need rubber bands and some gloves to get this tie and dye popping so now i'm gonna start by rubber banding different area on the shirt this is old shirt i'm using i'll be rubber banding different areas to separate the colors from where i want each color to lay so as you see i'm just gonna do the process of rubber banding the shirt and i'll get back to you guys <laughs> So as you guys can see I have all the rubber bands in place and we're ready to add our colors. So I'm going to start by adding water to the bottles and then we could start adding the color to the shirt. These are the colors that I'll be using. It's blue, yellow, purple and a pinkish reddish color. I could say pink. Yeah, pink. And I'm gonna start by adding some water to those colors then we're gonna start putting them on the shirt so bear with me guys and you're gonna see the process and the finished look So now that we're done adding water to those colors, now I'm going to start by adding the colors to the shirt. So what I'm going to do is put the colors at the different section that I want each color to lay. So I'm starting off with the green color and after I'm done putting it on that section, I'm going to take another color and put it on whichever section that I want. So I'm going to keep on repeating the process by adding each color in the area that i want them to be placed so i'm just gonna keep adding each color and i'll get back to you guys <laughs>
guys now that we are at the last part of the shirt and I'm adding my last color so after I'm done adding all my co the last color then I'm gonna remove the rubber bands and show you guys the finished product normally I will leave the rubber band on the shirt until it's dry before removing it but I'm gonna remove it and show you guys the finished product so as you can see all my colors are laid and now I'm gonna remove the rubber band and show you guys uh, what the shirt is looking like so this is the finished product it turned out pretty well I like the design it was what I was going for and it turned out really well but I didn't cut the shirt in any design that I wanted because I'm not sure how I want it yet or maybe I'm just gonna wear it like that but that's it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Said you see my car when we drove right past you You said I ain't getting nothing past you Keep on asking me questions uh, About who I'm texting And